So we're back streaming live at the Birmingham Film Festival. Uh, we're here with John Pegg and Richie Woodall. John, uh, you just picked up the uh, award for Best Ensemble, uh, Making Friends as the World Ends. Uh, how'd you feel? Really happy. Um, beforehand, I spoke to my wife and we're up, we've got three nominations. And you know, it's an honor to be nominated. And she says, what do you think? And last year I says, if my daughter wins Best Young Actor, I'm happy for the rest of the night. <laughs> and we won another award, but I was happy. This year I said, if we win Best Ensemble, I'm happy. I says, because the, the cast done such a good job. Yeah. I says, they deserve to have that recognised, and there's not many film festivals that have, have that award. So I says, we've got to pick it up where, when we get chance. And I says, if we win that one, I don't care what happens the rest of the night, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. And we won it, so, and, it, and we won it early, so we can eat dinner in a good mood, and the <laughs> night's a good night. Sorry to interrupt you, mate. Uh, you, uh, you, did you get through your, uh, your starter and your main before? We had the starts, we've had no main yet, but like I'm saying, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. If we hadn't won it, we probably would have said, oh, we're not coming over, we're not, we're not bothered. So we're in a good mood, so we'll do anything, it's not a problem. Tell me a little bit about the film. Basically, it's uh, nine strangers hiding away, trapped in a cellar, and something really bad has happened outside. You don't find out what. The food starts to run out, a bit like tonight, <laughs> and they decide that somebody has got to go out. Nobody wants to go, so they, they vote on it. And once they decide they're going to vote on it, they all start backstabbing each other. That's the film in a nutshell. Part two is being made in December. It was that, that entertaining that everyone says we've got to see what happens next. So part two is being made in December. If people perhaps haven't had the chance to see the film, uh, where should they look? Where can they find it? Once we've finished our festival run, I'll be putting it out there somewhere. It's not out there yet because it's on the festival run. And you want that surprise, especially because we've got a few twists in it. We want the surprise factor for the festival organisers. So it's not out there yet. But once we finish the festival run, just keep an eye on the page. It'll be out there and everyone can watch it. And obviously, like an amazing event this evening, uh, sold out. Um, tell me a little bit about your background, uh, making movies in the city and, and just generally how you feel the, the city of Birmingham is creatively right now. Um, well, my background is boxing. Okay. I make movies as a bit of fun and, and, and my daughter's kind of well established in the acting world. So I know a little bit from there. But you know what? We're in a strong position. Look at this, like last year winning an award, I said I'm going to make one for next year, and we did it. And like now I've said to my daughter Kia, because she helped me a lot with the script, I says, you've got to make one next year now. She's on set six months of the year, I said, you know what you're doing. So I think I'm going to take a little step back, let her make one for next year and have a bit of fun. But we're in a strong position, we've got great filmmakers coming through, we've got a sold out film festival. The film festival's five or six days long with all manner of events on it. I've been to that every day. I've watched over 30 movies. It's been great fun. People need to get along there every day because they're missing out if they don't. Okay. Also uh, involved in your film, uh, legend Richie Woodall. Richie, a bit of a transition from uh, the ring to the to the screen. Um, what got, first got you interested in uh, being involved in films? I've always had an interest uh, in films and, and, and being in films, to be quite honest. But obviously my life's been boxing, so I was better at boxing and it just... It just took over from. Um, it just took, took over my life basically. But I always had a passion for, hopefully one day going into films and doing a bit of acting, you know. And, I, and obviously knowing John through the boxing, then he, when he told me that he was into filmmaking, then I said, well, I'm really interested. And I've done, I've been in three or four of his films now. So um, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's a hobby. I'm learning. It was a great cast, great script, you know, John. T told me how I want, he wanted me to play the part, so I think I nailed it. So yeah, it's um, it was pretty interesting, and it was I learnt every day on set, and I loved it. I was there. I, I was literally a bit like I am in the in the boxing gym. I was first there and last out type of thing because I just sucked it all in. It was fa fabulous for me. I enjoyed every second of it. It was great. Tell me a little bit about your involvement in the film. Uh, what was your part? Well, I play Frank, who is a character who's seen it, done it all has lost his wife uh, in the past and um, he doesn't care for nothing and nobody and uh, he just doesn't take any prisoners and he's not bothered about anything so John said to me listen I, I want you to play it with that you know you don't you don't ever smile you're very very straight you're just down to earth and uh, yeah it was it was it was okay for me and I thought the cast the, the people I worked with were, were brilliant. You did a lot of stuff with Kia, didn't you? You done a, a lot of yeah. work with Kia on the film, which was did, good work. You did a lot of work with Kia, and she's she's great. Kia is, but we sort of uh, get a bond in the film, Kia and myself, and she's the, like the little terror, and and I'm sort of the the big guy in the movie in terms of of, of the our, our, our sort of cast. 
So yeah, it went really, really well. It was a good blend. But I think everyone performed. Everyone really performed. That's why we won the award. Yeah. There wasn't a weak spot, I don't think. I think we all, we all, we all got it right for the character. So yeah, and I'm hoping that he doesn't kill me off. I think I'm going to be okay. But you never know with him. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think a sold out Birmingham Film Festival um, Gala Awards tonight is testament to the the rise in um, creative um, talent across the city. Yeah. Uh, a real alternative to, to London and perhaps the, the, the media that's centred there? Well, I've got to stop you there because I'm from Telford. I'm a Shropshire ah, lad. Oh, <laughs> Richie's dad was a brummie. Yeah, oh. I mean, my dad's from over there. Adopted. <laughs> yeah. So I've got a lot of family over here, but I'm, I'm a Telford lad. I'm a Shropshire boy. I'm, I'm a country boy. But uh, yeah, I've got a lot of family here. But yeah, listen, I've, I've always been in Birmingham sort of all my life in because of, of the boxing game. Yeah. So um, we were always over here. The, we was over here boxing, sparring. So my family's here. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a Telford lad through and through, Shropshire. But yeah, I've always kept in contact with John. And like I say, I've really, really enjoyed it. And uh, I, we're doing the second one and he's, he says he's got a few more as well. So yeah, I was going to ask, plans for the future? Can you fill us in on uh, any little clues on what might come next? Well, we're making part two in December. Simple as that. I've already sorted a small budget. The actors are all up for it because we've had a great time. And then I've had some really like people who've got the knowledge telling me this could go bigger. I've done it because I enjoy it. The actors enjoyed having good roles, but some people who know their stuff have told me this could go bigger and could be a series. So I've wrote seven more episodes. So if there's somebody out there who likes the first two and they want to throw a, a pot of money at us, we're ready to go. We've got a load of Birmingham actors. If they're not Birmingham, they're Midlands with Birmingham links. Yeah. We film it in Birmingham. We use Birmingham crew. What better? We could do, we could do a series. The shots are in Birmingham, so if you like the first two, come along, show us what to do, we'll make a series that will blow the socks off, and I'm telling you that now. All right. Away from film for a moment and back to sport, any thoughts for uh, the afternoon tomorrow? Oh, the big the, the Villa Birmingham. Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's a nasty derby, that is. I don't know, I think. Uh, where is it at Villa or is it at Birmingham? Uh, it's at Villa. One, what stinks of 1-1, one, one, doesn't it? I know football nothing about man. football. If they're not punching each other in the face, I know nothing about <laughs> it, to be honest. Pleasure to meet both of you guys. Sorry to interrupt your meal. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks for your time. Thank Cheers, you. fellas. Bye.